the Muppets were responsible for a lot of our childhoods, especially mine. I grew up with Kermit the Frog, and I wanted to help bring him to a whole new generation of kids. Hi, my name is Matt Danner. I'm the supervising director for Disney's Muppet Babies and the voice of Kermit the Frog. Hi-ho, everybody. The Muppet Babies are babyfied versions of the Muppets. I'd like the Muppet Babies to have the same sort of impact they had when I was a kid, where they're new friends that kids can trust and rely on that are always there for you and always there for each other. This is actually the Kermit puppet that my parents gave me to practice puppeteering. How are you doing today, Kermit? Oh, all right, how are you? But actually, going even further back in time, this is the little beanbag uh, toy that my parents put in my crib when I was a baby. Up at the top, that's a, that's a whatnot, which is a type of human Muppet that can be sort of swapped out, and it's of me. That's an original animal puppet from when I was a kid. Down at the bottom, uh, that sort of turquoisey puppet was actually my version of Kermit, which was a lizard named Izzy. I was probably like eight. I just took a pair of sweatpants that I had and ripped them up. My daughter was born about the exact same time that I started working on the show. And so in a weird way, I, I, I almost feel like I'm kind of making it for her. I feel a lot like Kermit, actually, when I'm running around directing. I'm like, all right, everybody, we got to get these designs ready by noon, you know? And, and uh, I almost just tap into the voice naturally now. <laughs> I attracted the cartoons and puppetry because it sort of had a little aspect of everything. I like telling stories, I like telling jokes, I like playing characters, and I like drawing. And uh, it sort of has everything for me, and that's why I just, you know, kept at it.